Yo, what up, nerd gang? It's your boy, Hero Bishop. I just recently watched Spawn 97 again, and today I asked the question, was Spawn 97 really that bad? Stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies, so they want to have my So, man, I remember when Spawn 97 uh, was about to come out, how pumped I was because, uh, man, I can't remember how old I was. I was in middle school, I think, and I had just recently found the Spawn comics, and I thought they were very dark and intense. I would sneak and watch the damn uh, HBO show, and I expected the movie to be like, super trill like that and yeah it wasn't and yeah it was pretty bad but there was some cool things about it man i just recently watched it with my kids and they thought it was super dope and a lot of people are probably gonna disagree but i'm gonna tell you right now the best thing about that movie was john lugie Zom ligazamo lugie zombo whatever the hell his name is uh capulet you know what I'm saying? Uh, the best thing about that was his clown, man. I really think he was the most comic accurate thing in the whole damn movie to me was his clown. The way he acted, the way he looked, the way he looked was on point, man. Like, just like the comic, super dope. The way he acted, and with all the bad CGI in that movie, even the Violator was the actual best CGI in it. And he was... He was probably to me the only thing the most the thing that made that movie most watchable and uh michael j white or whatever his name is him playing spawn was cool man um i feel like there was supposed to be more emotion to it or something and and a more serious story and and it should have been a rated r movie straight up like i think if they would have rate, made it a rated r movie it would have changed the whole tone of it but also, I think a lot of editing and bad dialogue made him look dumber than his character should have been. You know what I'm saying? But he was good. But everything else, bro, mostly everything else was lame as hell. I don't like, and I'm not like an SJW at all. Like, I'm tired of all the bullshit they're doing to movies to make it, f like, changing everybody all the time, you know, for no reason. But them uh whitewashing uh his best friend was kind of dumb dude because that is like an iconic part of the comic him being another black dude so i thought that was dumb that they did that uh wingard bro and his little henchwoman or whatever corniest villains ever dude like super corny like Chuck Norris movie well hell even Chuck Norris movie villains were better than these guys so that was pretty lame um I hate to be a hater bro but I gotta be real about this movie I mean uh the spawn suit dude was to me was super lame looking uh I don't like how it looked all like leathery and for some reason it was like some kind of bio weapon that like like a damn uh Elite Battle Angel fucking suit or something. I don't know, man. I thought all that stuff was lame. And I also, I don't really feel like we got to see Spawn's, like, real powers and, like, his real, his real abilities. You know what I'm saying? And, man, I really wish they would have not wasted all that damn CGI money and did more practical effects and better stuff like that because it would have been a lot cooler. That cape, dude... First of all, I don't know why his cape was only, <coughs> excuse me, only on him in like certain parts, but it was atrocious looking when it did pop up. Like they might as well should have just left it off the whole time and it would have looked better. And uh, speaking of atrocious looking, Malvalja and Hell and everything that happened in that, dude, straight cornball city, dude, like. It was as bad as, like, the Mortal Kombat CGI, dude, back in that movie. And, hell, that might have even been better. But, 
a lot of missteps, a lot of mistakes in this movie. And the whole uh, mysterious dude in the alley, bro. Like, and Spawn was like the protector of the alley. I don't know why they had to have a a, a damn uh, Kurt. Uh, fuck, what was his name? The the old dude out of the first Ghost Rider movie. I don't know why they had to have one of them dudes in there, like guiding Spawn and shit. I don't remember that in the comics, but maybe I'm wrong, dude. It's been a while since I read them. I got the compendium. But I haven't even picked it up. So it's it's been probably since the 90s since I read Spawn. Um, and uh, the whole he uh, bad badass hero with a heart of gold thing with the little kid uh, befriending Spawn and shit. That was corny. Like there was just, man, so, so much wrong with that movie and such a letdown. But one other good thing gotta give props to, gotta show love to, is that damn soundtrack, bro. When that Spawn soundtrack came out, dude, and I was in middle school, I bought that, dude, I thought that was the hardest shit ever, dude. I would bump that on the reg, bro, and my Walkman, I would be listening to it on the bus, you know what I'm saying, laying in bed, jamming on that shit, dude. It was super dope. Uh, Yeah, man, not much good to say about that movie, uh, Watched it again the other day with my kids for the first time since 97, and uh, I probably need to go another decade without watching it, but uh, I'm excited maybe if they ever do that Spawn reboot with Todd McFarlane, that would be dope if that came out. I'm sure they would kill it now and make it rated R and shit, but we'll see what happens. Let me know what y'all think about, about Spawn 97 in the comments below. Do you agree with me about John Lugizamo? And that damn soundtrack, how many of y'all was bumping that? And make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in this video about my 500 subscriber giveaway because I'm giving away a 90s prize pack. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. It's your boy Hero Bishop. Peace.